So um, one of the hallmark of cancer or cancer cells is cell migration or metastasis. When cancer cells leave their primary site, then enter, eat through the basement membrane, enter the blood circulation, and then they home into another secondary location. And this process is called metastasis, and in order to achieve that, cancer cells have to be migratory. As cancer researchers, we are trying to mimic what happens inside the body when cancer evolves in vitro or in the lab. One important experiment that we do is trans well migration. And as the name indicates, we grow the cells in a well, and then we allow cancer cells to migrate through that well that is porous into a second or lower chamber. So we have this setup, and this is a trans well plate. It's just a regular 24 well plate. So you can buy 24 well plates, you can buy six well plates. And the idea is that these plates have an insert. I, right now, maybe you cannot see it, but I'm gonna show it to you when I have the plate inside the biosafety cabinet because I have to keep everything sterile. These insects or wells, they have a membrane as their base and that membrane is porous. And the size of the pores depend on the application you are looking for or you are doing. So in my case, I'm doing trans well migration, uh, chemotaxis or chemotactic uh, trans well migration. So I want the cancer cells to migrate through the pores following a chemoattractant. And in the case of this cancer cells, this chemoattractant is epidermally growth chamber. So I will seed the cells into the insert in here. This is the upper chamber. And I will allow the cells some time to migrate through the pores into the lower chamber that has the uh, epidermal growth factor or the chemoattractant. Let me show you the insert. So this is the insert and the base has this porous membrane. So what I will do is I will split my cells using trypsin, count the cells, and then I will seed these cells on the upper chamber and then give them some time to migrate and in, in the case of breast cancer cells that I'm working with, they need 24 hours and the time of migration depends on your own experience. So you, uh, if you don't know the exact time to leave them, you have to try it starting from three hours to overnight, or you can read literature and see what other people have been doing. Guys, again, the whole assay, I coated the lower membrane with collagen for four hours. Now I will trypsinize the cells and count the cells in all of my treatments and the control. Then I will grow or seed the same number of cells in all of the wells treatment or treated cells versus control because I need one variable, which is the effect of the treatment on cell migration. The next step after counting the cells uh, is to collect the cells and the media into um, a vendor or microcentrifuge tubes, then centrifuge them and aspirate the media which had the serum. And then I, uh, and I don't know if you can see the cell pellet in here. And then I added the starvation media and I will resuspend the cell pellet. And from that, I will take a um, fixed number of cells um, that is consistent in all of these wells. And if you look at the transwell chamber right now, the lower chamber had the starvation media with the epidermal growth factor as the chemoattractant. The lower chamber has only the starvation media and I also added a cell division inhibitor because I'm going to leave the cells 
to migrate through the pores for 24 hours. So I don't want them to divide and that will mislead uh, the whole calculation because the treatment that I added might affect cell division and I don't wanna add more than one variable. So the only thing now that I'm gonna do is to add cells to each of these tabs well. For the first well, I know that I need 44 microliter of cells. So I have that and I will add it to the upper chamber. And that will be it. And I'll finish for the rest of these trans wells. We'll incubate the plate at 37 degrees, 5% CO2 for 24 hours. Um, after 24 hours of incubating the cells in the trans well chamber, the chemotaxis chamber, where I seeded the cells on the upper chamber and allowed the cells to migrate through the pores of the membrane, what I will do uh, today is to fix the cells that have migrated to the lower membrane, stain them with methylene blue, and then count cells per field, and I will count 30, at least 30 fields per treatment. So, so the first thing that I will do is to make sure to clean the upper membrane from all the cells that have not migrated. And now sterility is not an issue because the cells will be uh, fixed. So I have these cotton uh, swabs. So I'm just gonna carefully just clean the upper membrane in all of these trans well. Then what I will do is take out the media in the upper chamber. And then I'll fix the membrane, the cells on the lower membrane. So I have this fixative, which is 4% paraformaldehyde. I would have one mil in these extra wells and move this trans well into the new well that has the fixative. And I'll do this for the remaining trans wells. The cells have been um, fixed in 4% paraformaldehyde for 30 uh, minutes. And as you can see, I moved from the biosafety cabinet to the fume hood, since again, sterility now is not an issue. However, paraformaldehyde is a hazardous material, so uh, you have to work with it in a fume hood. So um, what I will do is add the stain to these extra wells. And because we have these extra wells in the 24 well plate, it is so easy to stain and fix in the same plate. So you will add enough to cover the membrane. So as you can see, this is not enough. If you can look, that the membrane is not covered. So I need to add more stain. Uh, and these transwell chambers have these openings to make it easier for you to add uh, whatever reagent you want. So I'm just gonna add more stain. And now if you look, you can see that the membrane is covered. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again for the rest of these trans well uh, membranes and we will incubate for 20 minutes. After several rounds of rinsing the stain, uh, this is how the membrane looks. And under uh, the microscope, let's have a look. These are how, this is how uh, the cells can, uh, look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, for each treatment 30 images or 30 fields and then I will count the cells and uh, these 30 fields take the average and then compare my, uh, the different treatments uh, with the control and that would give me an idea if the treatments affected uh, migration or not.